I'm going to be showing you the only prompt you need for ChatGPT. Now, a prompt allows you to get better answers out of ChatGPT. So having a clear prompt will allow you to 10x your work and get the exact answer that you're looking for. This is found from Replit, and I'll have a link down below if you want to see this framework. It's broken down into five different sections to prompt ChatGPT to get the answer. So we'll go through the example and then we'll break down the five different sections. The five sections as we go through this, it's gonna be the framework or language. It's gonna be the interface, functions, assignment, and then the response structure. Now that might seem pretty technical to you perhaps if you don't have a coding background or a computer science background, but the summary is we're going to give as much framework and giving as much detail so you get a better response. So let's break this down. I'm gonna read the whole thing and then we'll break it down. It says, I'm building a project in Flask. The description of the project is below. I want a web app with a form that asks a user three questions about what they do for work, their satisfaction with that work on a scale from zero to 10 and collects their email. After the form is submitted, the responses uh, the sp responses should be saved in a CSV file called responses.csv. Your task is to provide a concrete implementation of the necessary files. In your response, provide all the code for each file separately and include the file names above the receptive, uh, respective code. So we're gonna break this down for a second. Okay, so the first section at the top says, I'm building a project in Flask. So that's the framework. So for yourself, you should be giving at least a sentence to give the framework for ChatGPT to understand what you're doing, what is your mission? So that first sentence, what, what kind of framework can, can you give it? What kind of background? And it also gives you the, the separation says, the description of the project is below. So instead of just one massive paragraph, it's separating what you should be asking chat gpt so that's the framework the second mini paragraph is where it talks about the interface so what is the interface it's letting chat gpt know that you're trying to create a form with three uh three questions so your interface what are you looking for what are what is going to be the format uh that you are trying to create it with do you have one the next portion is talking about the functions. Responses should be saved in. So right there, you're giving uh, the the res you're giving ChatGPT the format that you want your answers. Right now, we have also another section where it says the response structure. But the function right here, responses should be saved in a CSV file called responses.csv. So it's giving it more. It's giving more framework right there. The last paragraph is talking about the assignment. It says, and this is the assignment to ChatGPT. It says, your task is to provide a con concrete implementation. So you're now telling ChatGPT the one thing that it should be doing. And then the last portion is the response structure where it says, in your response, provide all the code for each file separately. So now it knows, should I just, you know, tell all the answers, how should it be separated. You're telling it exactly how it should be uh, structured, and then it gives it more uh, details and include the file names above the recept, uh, respective code. So when you're thinking about prompting for yourself, if it's something technical like this with code, or if you're just doing something where um, it, it might be uh, you're trying to find out different titles of potential books, or if you're trying to think about character names, or if you're using this for your boring work, uh, just your daily work, and you're trying to figure out how to make this more expressive, here you go. This gives you a structure of what you're going to do. This allows you to just have one prompt to rule them all. If you want more details about other learning prompts, and understanding different courses, things like that, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what you're working on. What are you using ChatGPT for? All right, everyone, have a great day. Like and subscribe. All right, everybody, bye-bye, bye-bye.